Yo, what up? America's Realist Podcast, Live Hip Hop Daily. We got FLY Mook in the building with us. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. What's happening? Man, what's happening, man? Your boy Mook, man. Shout out to better known as FLY Mook, 130 FLY. I'm in here, man. What's going on? Hey, man, we got them um, surfed in yeah. them motherfuckers. Yeah. We wave you yeah. on this tequila. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a whole bunch of Espalon in the cup. We probably shouldn't say their name because they ain't paying us. Right. <laughs> For sure. Shout out to them folks. Yeah, facts. <laughs> throw you one <laughs> we was in here chopping it up you know just catching up it was it, it's always organic you know what i'm saying before the cameras come on we're gonna just continue rolling with it you know what i'm saying we were just talking about um well we talked about the nba performances first sure. you know what i'm saying yeah. so we could just get yeah, into so, that uh, we done been like on this whole wave of like doing halftime shows and shit. Mm-hmm. so um we done did the clippers Rockets, the T Wolves, the Kings. Of course, we done did the home team, the Hawks. Mm-hmm. So it's like, uh, you know, Swag Surfers starting to take the NBA, won the arena by storm. Mm-hmm. So it's just been real dope. Yeah, there's no arena that, that Swag nah, they, they play playing. that shit. They play it everywhere. I get a video, like, especially like during football season. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I get two, three videos on Saturday, two, three videos on Sunday yeah. from different. Because it's college, college too. And, yeah, for sure. And NFL. Yeah, so yeah. It's like, Swag surface still is, uh, I guess, scratching the surface of what it, how big it could be. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. Because it's starting to like get into different, like we said, arenas, different mm-hmm. crowds. Mm-hmm. Um, the younger kids, like you said mm-hmm. earlier, right. like you know, my nephew loves Swag Surface. He's yeah. not right. Mm-hmm. He wasn't even alive when we made the song. <laughs> right, right, that's crazy. So that's, he's like, that's my favorite record. He was a. Uh, he was at a show with us a couple weeks ago. I let him perform a couple words. Yeah. Like, you know, the words and everything. Yeah. So it's dope. Yeah, no, that's hard, man. And like it's so over a decade long, just yeah. now scratching the surface, like yeah. you yeah. reaching multiple generations with that song. Like it's 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 crazy. Uh, it's I don't know like really how to explain it, cause mm-hmm. we still getting calls for like, hey, can y'all come perform at the high school for the prom mm-hmm. and for this, yeah. like for yeah. that. Mm-hmm. And so like like I said, like we were saying earlier, just expanded so much because we be doing so many different types of events. Mm-hmm. Right. Our midst for right. <laughs> right. 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 We did a, a, a gender reveal one time. Yeah. yeah. So it's like. Yeah, that's oh, hard, that's man. Dope. That's yeah. hard. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't. What you saying that is not. There isn't any uh, venue that you it might not perform. It, it you might get day. invited into a, a baby shower. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Or mm-hmm. a Christianin. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a baptism. Know, right. Like, Swag surfing in, in, the, in right. the water. And the crazy part about it, you talking about baptism, we did do like a New Year's event at, for a church one time. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, they yeah. Like, rented out a whole stadium for New That's Year's. That's crazy. It was a church event. Though. Yeah. We were like, yeah. I was like, what can we say? Right. They were like, what well, say it all? Like, yeah. Right, yeah. Let it rock out. Yeah. Okay. Let it rock out. Yeah. What he said, come as you are, come my as son. You are. You they weren't for judging sure. no, them folks had a good sure. time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good time. Yeah, that's hard. All right, so before I, we get to the Rock <coughs> Nation bunch, because I just want to know a little bit even about, like, the dance, right? So, like, how was that, like, incorporated into the song? Like, was the dance there first, and then you was like... Yeah, the um, so originally, uh, you know, it's four of us on the song. It's mm-hmm. FLY and it's Easton. Mm-hmm. Um, FLY consists of me, I McFly, and V. Okay. And then Easton, uh, he's featured on the song. Mm-hmm. He rapped first, and I think he on the hook too. He he did part of the hook too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, the dance itself came from the South Side. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We used to be uh, running around with like hit squad South Side. Like you know, we mm-hmm. used to see them boys all the time. Yeah. And really, South Side Mafia, we was out with them boys. Uh, Matter of fact, they was on the East performing one time, and they were just up there doing something. Mm-hmm. Niggas was like, "Bro, what is that?" Like, <laughs> look like these niggas is like awesome. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. On the bean and so so, we was yeah. calling it the bean dance at first. Yeah. But then like we started just doing it to all the little songs that was out um at the time. So it was like mm-hmm. Young LA, Young Rouse. Right, yeah. Like we were yeah. just doing it to everything. Yeah. And then with the record. <clears throat> We, uh, we recorded it at my uncle's house, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. One two-bedroom apartment, right. you know what I'm saying? I wrote my verse on the flow, but it was like, and V, V had like majority, maybe like 80% of the hook. He mm-hmm. had the I'm on Hypnotic, Exotic, he had all that. Mm-hmm. The 
and my aunt was like, man, why don't y'all put that dance y'all be doing to it? And we had already kind of called it the swag, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He was already yeah. saying it was the surf. Yeah. So shit, like, my aunt was like, you know, we was all sitting there, we was like, we're gonna call it swag, sir. Mm-hmm. And boom. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah, that's legendary. Here. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Nah, that's hard right there. Yeah, sure. yeah. That's 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 history. <laughs> Historical, cause mm-hmm. it's funny that you know we talking about the dance. The dance was born on the south side. Mm-hmm. We used to travel from the east side to the south side to go record at my uncle's house. So mm-hmm. it was just like yeah, the energy. You yeah, know? yeah, right. facts. Right. Yeah. So it was kind of like a whole big deal, like back then Nigga, y'all stole our shit but you know yeah, we ended yeah. up squashing it mm-hmm. and everybody shout out to my boy bama you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying so we end up all getting real cool back yeah then, so. that's what's up i love when situations like that can come out in peace yeah, yeah i feel sure. like it's a lot of times where niggas don't talk about that you know what i'm saying yeah mm-hmm. so i mean it was uh it was it was pretty uh it was a little sticky for a minute yeah, yeah. it's kind of intense but, at first mm-hmm. yeah yeah mm-hmm. but we had somebody around us that couldn't that was a little older mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying i was like look y'all everybody getting money blah 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 and then we all you know over time sat down and talked with each other mm-hmm. or seen each other at the club and had conversations and it was just like that shit dumb bro. yeah you know what i'm saying we yeah. all doing this for the love of this music mm-hmm. shit, so mm-hmm. like, putting on put, for atlanta putting on for the city bro. you know what i'm saying so on, yeah for sure. bed because everybody saw the potential mm-hmm. right but, you know what i'm saying so, mm-hmm. And then what's the what's the point of you know he stole my dance, but you didn't make the song to it or what? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like you know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't really steal your dance. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, I just and the, and the I created part, a song for your dance, nigga. Yeah, asked bro to get on the song. Mm. He was like, nah. Niggas was like, nah. Mm. nah. Damn. Cause it, you know, I mean, I get it though, mm-hmm. because it was kind of like the song's not really. It had a dance, like it had a. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. a dance song, but it had a dance to it. So yeah. they're like, no, nah, but I ain't trying to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying yeah. to show no dance song. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. So it's like, all right. Yeah, like, for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, you Party know, music. You know, his squad was. No, nah, the boy, no, nah, it were, you know, we, it was really the South Side, South Side Mafia. Mafia. Really oh, okay, okay, But okay. I said his squad, because we are, everybody, everybody was just be together. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, the South Side area. area. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We all over the place. Mm-hmm. So we was running into each other anyway. Right, mm-hmm. for sure. But, uh, yeah, man, so it it was just a thing where we had to be some grown men. As as young dudes about the situation, we had to be some grown men mm-hmm. yeah. and talk about it. Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. But it's, you know, it wasn't even nothing like that. Really, we paying homage to y'all, boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You feel me? So, mm-hmm. Looking up to you. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Inspired by. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Black power. Black yeah. power. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right. So, the dance song yep. got you into exclusive events like mm-hmm. the Rock Nation brunch. Like, yeah. that's crazy. That shit is nuts. Lil Uzi, Lil Uzi was on, standing on the couches. Did you, did you yeah, see that? Nah, we, no, yeah, we was in yeah. there for yeah. sure. So, uh, we actually just did a publishing deal with Rock Nation. Okay, yeah. So we did that back in December. Mm-hmm. And um, we just been tapped in with them. So one mm-hmm. of them, you know, I guess that's one of the perks, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got our invites in email, you know what yeah. I'm saying? They had, yeah. It was top secret shit or whatever, mm-hmm. but it was dope though. Like, yeah. Uh, you know, a bunch of black excellence in there, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? A yeah. bunch of Duce in there, a bunch of uh, <laughs> Ace of Spades in there, you feel me? So yeah. it was a it was a vibe. It was a vibe. And they do have food. <laughs> Good food, right? Like, but I don't, don't nobody be eating mm-hmm. there, like, they got food in there. Yeah. And it was hit, like you said, that shit would be hit. You said, don't nobody be eating. That's crazy, like at that level, <laughs> y'all cannot see? just you drop it that. for a second to eat. Man, come on, man. Everybody, I, I would, I would never assume that there wouldn't be food at a yeah. Rock Nation event. Yeah, yeah exactly. But folks, like, it was folks asking me, like, bro, was it food there? I'm like, uh, nigga, yeah, yeah. It was a brunch. Uh, like, the yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. It didn't yeah. Mean, I couldn't be mad not just mimosas. It. Yeah, yeah. right. No, nah, right. <laughs> that's that's Atlanta stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They call it brunch. All they got is mimosas. All they got is mimosas. Yeah. Yeah. If it's just right. mimosas, we would have all been in our sleep, right. <laughs> hungry and drunk enough. Bro. Yeah, that shit was dope, man. Yeah. You know, I met a lot of a lot of people lie you know what i'm saying that done inspired me mm-hmm. in different ways you know what i'm saying i had a four five minute conversation with jermaine dupree yeah mm-hmm. no nah, that's lit that's hard mm-hmm. and and, you know and like, is that that's the first time that you was able to speak to him or like 
like that. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. we've seen each other in passing. When we did, I think, the Super Bowl here, when mm -hmm. it was in Atlanta, I think him and DJ Holiday put it together. So we met okay. him then. Yeah. But it, you know, yeah, it wasn't was as so intimate. Yeah. yeah, I feel that. But, you know, I just introduced myself again. He's like, yeah, yeah bro. And, yeah, and how, how, what was that, like five, six years ago? When, when uh, the it? Super Bowl joint? Yeah. Um, 27, 2018. 2018. 2018, mm -hmm. so like, and, yeah, about five years. And then, so that was like halfway through you making the song. You know what I'm saying? The song's mm -hmm. throwing, blowing up. Oh, matter of yeah. fact, I don't even know that we didn't even ask that question. How long was it from when you made the song to when oh, it started getting notoriety? Nah, bro, Shit, we, we made the right? song, yeah, we made the song uh, May of 2008. No. Yeah, May of 2008, we signed a Def Jam in like January 2009. Mm. So it was like, I think that's kind of like one of the first viral kind of songs because it took off on MySpace and it took off like how it did. Like we used to yeah. perform at um, a little spot on the east side called A Town East. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Uh, most of our friends at the time was in college and shit. So just like, the name of the party was Wasted Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Three dollars of everything. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So we used to just go in there and get fucked up, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And we played, you know what I'm saying? We made it. We took it straight to Tank. Tank mm -hmm. was DJing. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to DJ Pretty Boy Tank, the first nigga to spin it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's an official certified record breaker. Yeah, for right, sure. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So he spin it, you know. The first time we was the only niggas in that bitch, like, vibing to it. The next Wednesday, you know what I'm saying? He played it again. Mm hmm. 20 people, you know what I'm saying? By the third Wednesday, the whole club. Y'all was in there swagging and surfing the first day? But yeah, we were yeah. just in there doing it. Yeah. We were just in there uh, swag surfing the mm -hmm. first day, you right. feel me? And like I said, like, folks were just like, oh mm -hmm. shit, oh shit. And then I bought up the college shit because basically what happened is that everybody got the mixtapes or whatever mm -hmm. and went to school in August. Right. Oh, and it took over. Oh shit, my bad, y'all. And, and it took August, over. It the, took over all the college, mm -hmm. the HBCUs and shit. Yeah, you know, it, it's, it's, This is old summer. I mean, fall. Oh wait. Uh, right, 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 right. All right, right so right, like, right. all right, boom. It's <clears> funny that you. I no, in fact, it's funny that you said the college because um, I was in Valdosta. Yeah. Uh, I went in '08. Yeah. And you know, did, we were definitely. That's, that's like yeah. our base number two because right. Ke made mm -hmm. the beat. Absolutely. He's from Valdosta. Yeah. You know what yep. I'm saying? We recorded like one of our other hits at LA the Boom Man Shoe Store. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Shout out to LA. I remember I remember the seeing um Boom walk through the mall one time as I'm a student, you feel mm -hmm. me? Like when he had the dreads and shit. All right, so since you brought him up, I know have you seen like the controversy like that he's been going through Man. on the internet? I fought with it. I fought with everybody. So I see yeah. it, you know, it just Nigga just gotta, you know, talk about it, man. I don't like seeing shit like that hit the net. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I definitely don't like that. But I feel like niggas can always work it out. Yeah, get for it sure. Figured out, or if it ain't nothing to be figured out, it just everybody it just, just is do what, what it they is. Do yeah, make the money. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. How was your situation like? Um, you know, we 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 didn't really because you said you signed like within yeah, like signed, less no, than a year. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I deal with straight with Def Jam. I just yeah. feel like um, at the time, they ain't, folks ain't really know how to like take us because we kind of mm -hmm. like, Was look, the box? we look one way, mm -hmm. but then our songs got melodies and shit. Mm -hmm. It was party mm -hmm. music, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it was like, but the deal, no, nah, Def Jam, I fuck with Def Jam. Yeah. I fuck with Def Jam, yeah. for sure. Yeah. For sure, for sure. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, shit, man. <laughs> that's that's uh that's history, but it's it's not even yeah. just history. It's it's still going. Modern history. It's, it's modern history, right? Yeah. All right, so let's talk about like um just drop pre rolls for four twenty. Yeah. Pre rolled, excuse me, for four twenty. Yeah. Uh yeah, I just dropped. Uh, this is my third solo project. Mm hmm Um, I dropped Moot McGrady before, and I dropped Moot Tarantino before. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So pre-roll was just like, it dropped off 420, so it's just my old to like, one of my favorite pastimes and mm -hmm. shit. I like to smoke weed, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All my niggas will tell you, that nigga always got the weed, mm -hmm. he always smoking, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. So I just wanted to goddamn let folks know that when you hear 
move. This is what you gonna get. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is this is the lane we driving in. Mm -hmm. This is how we like to sound. Right. This is how we it. like to dress. This is how we like to kick. You yeah. Me? Yeah. So, yeah, we uh, my boy's supposed to be here in a minute. Book, he made four to five tracks on there. Mm -hmm. Um, and Dre Wisdom made the first track on there, which right. is called What Y'all Smoking On, mm -hmm. which is an ode to my podcast, which is about to redrop too. Mm -hmm. I just be pulling up on my homies like, okay. what y'all smoking on? Yeah. You know, yeah. and everybody break it down to me what they got. Why well, we got the Steve, we got the Indica, we got mm -hmm. the gas house. And we rate it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We rate it and we just talk about yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And we get into like, cause I pull up on my homies that I feel like is a, uh, Weedologist. Weedologist, but mm -hmm. got shit going on too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you talk about my, my producer that, homies, they, my, yeah, mm -hmm. on that shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because these niggas gave me the uh, platform in a, in a sense to promote my mm -hmm. shit. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I want to do the same for them. For yeah, sure. for sure. So how do you rate the weed? Like, So, you know, we got a three tier scale that we rate our, rate our weed on. Mm -hmm. We got a uh, aroma, we got taste, and we got high ability. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. High ability is the ability to get you high. Mm -hmm. you feel me? Yeah, for sure. And taste and aroma, I think, pretty much speak for itself. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we'll show the butts. We'll get uh whatever smoking apparatus they smoking in it. Mm -hmm. Papers, backwood. What's you know your what preferred saying? apparatus? Papers. Mm -hmm. Papers. I like the papers. I like the papers. You use grubber? Nah. 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 The paper, I mean, straight you know, paper playing game. I just game. like the weed. Mm -hmm. Give me all the weed. <laughs> Give me the TAC. I don't. I smoke the gravel, but yeah. I don't roll it though. Yeah, for me? sure, for sure. I hit it, but mm -hmm. yeah, man. I like the raw papers with the with the filters in them. I mm -hmm. roll my own raw papers. I don't even use cones like that no more. Yeah, yeah, facts, same. Huh? Experience, experience. <laughs> you have a favorite strain that you came across, man. Every time something new dropped, it's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the first favorite probably that I had, though, was uh, Platinum Cookies. That was back then. Yeah, that was a minute ago. Mm -hmm. That was on that exotic, that was, exotic. Man, come on, that bro. Was <laughs> and, I went, and I went to LA and smoked that shit. Mm -hmm. And that was my first time in LA, yeah. smoking LA weed. Mm -hmm. and, Memorable, but it stuck. High, laughing, and being goofy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. facts, facts. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. So yeah, nah, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. So uh what I, what I was saying to before what I was getting to before was that like you made the song in 08, signed in 09, met uh met um Jermaine Dupri in oh five what'd you say? Oh oh right, we just met Jermaine. well yeah, no, we met the him Super Bowl. in two thousand Super Bowl 2000. 18. 18. That's 10 mm -hmm. years after that. Mm -hmm. And then another five years later, meet him again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which Chop. means that, you know what I'm saying? You still moving up. And even mm -hmm. with him meeting you twice in both platforms, because in both situations it was really big deal. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So he, of course, he already know the song, but for you to still be active and still be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, in the same field, doing the same thing, and still, you know what I'm saying, showing your talent and your ability, that's dope as hell. Yes. And I know he's definitely taking, you know what I'm no, saying? No, that was two little, like, legends coming together at that mm -hmm. moment. That's hard. Mm -hmm. like, it's a blessing. Yeah. It's really a blessing because, shit, everybody out, you know, we grew up in the creative era, so I know a lot of people that made music. Mm -hmm. And I just, like, I, you know what I do for a swag? I'm like, hey, bro, like, it's a blessing because mm -hmm. I it's so many artists that want one of those. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like so, you know, it's easy to get like, oh man, but for what? Mm -hmm. It's lit. I'm coming out every time we perform, rocking forty thousand, fifty thousand, mm -hmm. no nah, fact, sixty thousand. Yeah, I was gonna ask like, you know, do you get like tired of performing it no. or like? No, mm -hmm. no, yeah, you can't like. When you up there with that energy, yeah, and that energy, people yeah. just put out and exude for yeah. that, like, no, nah, that's hard. Yeah, yeah you got like, like I feel that though. Every time, mm -hmm. every time, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like, oh shit, these folks fucking with this shit. Yeah, yeah, fucking with this shit. Yeah, like something in the water. You know, <laughs> yeah, did that shit the first year, mm -hmm. and that was like the most people I think I ever we ever got in front of. So it's like, yeah curtain so you can see half the crowd mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah like, yeah, 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 yeah 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 they start playing and shit and we come out 
I had to stop for a minute, like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, yeah. On the beach, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. next to the ocean, on the boardwalk, people on the boardwalk. Yeah. Like, that shit was crazy. Felt like yeah. BMX. <laughs> like, I, just like that. Yeah. <laughs> And that shit was just that's a dope experience yeah. that right shit there went up, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Up. Mm-hmm. and shit, it just continues to do that yeah really? for sure yeah for it's sure. gonna do that for a yeah, long time I, I, yeah i think forever like that song is just you know even like next thing you know you're gonna be you know like yeah, even sure surfers you, you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. even for like you know what i'm saying yeah, surfing sure. bitch yeah. you, know, yeah. nah, we, you know what i'm saying you say something going, about the beach and shit you know what i'm saying for sure, you know, like a like black surfer conference in September. Oh man, that's crazy! Yeah. Oh, a man, black yeah. surfer con- yeah. You just opened up my eyes to yeah. something different. Like, I didn't even dope. know that was a thing. For sure, bro. yeah, so, that's dope. Yeah, that's it's dope. Crazy. So like you just said, so many different markets. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. You just did some shit with like the Navy like, or something. Like the agricultural, so, like, like, right? You know, what I'm saying? we be doing shit like. Yeah, for like sure. I told y'all, we be doing all type of shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's where we going. All right, for yeah. sure. So, so like, what's the uh, the biggest name that you feel like you ever work with? Mm, work with, I mean, probably Future. Future. As far as making a song, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? We had nah, that's a that's a big name, right? Yeah, we we did Splashing in 2011, something like that. 2010, whenever Dirty Sprite came out, mm-hmm. okay, because it made Dirty Sprite. You know what I'm saying? Which was dope. We was fans of Future at the time. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But he was fucking with our shit too. So it was like, right. oh shit. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, probably everybody, but you know, Travi, mm-hmm. uh, Roscoe. Like mm-hmm. we got we we work with some folks. Yeah, you know yeah, good, good yeah. roster, good yeah, roster. Yeah. yeah, we we be around. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. Who you yeah. plan on working with in the future? Whoever wanna work, man. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Uh we at Rock Nation now, so the options is open, right? You know what right? I'm saying? So yeah, for whenever sure. it's time to work with somebody, I got a list of people. Mm-hmm. I want to work with all the dogs, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all, y'all working as a um, as a group or are you? Is both. That, mm-hmm. Both. We uh, we working as a collective and solo. So mm-hmm. it's like, you know, everybody can do their thing yeah, and then yeah, we come together sure. and do what, mm-hmm. what we need to. Yeah. Shit, so yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. It's dope that y'all still got a good you know what I'm saying? Relationship yeah, and foundation. Yeah. Could at least yeah. get on the stage together. Cause there's some yeah. people that be, you know, you hear the stories, they've been been in the group all these mm-hmm. years and they can't even get on the stage to make no money together. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It shit like, happens, man. So you know you can understand, you know, mm-hmm. when you be in it, you can understand yeah, how yeah, shit for can sure. happen. But mm-hmm. it's like shit, my nigga. We mm-hmm. get past we done got past way. So much you know shit. What I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get past so much shit in life, you be like, well, whatever we Mad and then it's not bullshit. like it's not like somebody put y'all together as a group. Y'all was already was with already each other. We you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Sure. So sure. you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All the way. Mm-hmm. So that's why I say it, bro. It's always like you can get over it, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get over it. Talk about it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You say what you gotta say. You say what you gotta say. Mm-hmm. And let's get back to what we need to do mm-hmm. for the greater good of everybody. Mm-hmm. For sure. So for sure. you know, it's you know, practice, patience, all that <laughs> shit, bro. You gotta do it do all that shit with it, but it's worth it to, you know what I'm saying, at least keep the shit together. To like you me. said, to get yeah. to the greater good. Yeah, exactly. for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You gotta be with people that, that can understand that, you know? Yeah, it's like always you gonna said be. earlier with the question, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Do you think somebody should hold it down or mm-hmm. express themselves? Nah, man, you gotta express yourself, talk about it, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? If Make you, you stronger. For sure, if you with somebody that doesn't know how to accept or even express you mm-hmm. feel me maybe y'all should just take a break until some steam cool off or something because it might get aneurysm or something <laughs> right right <laughs> right you funny as hell all right so you know people smoke weed year round so go listen to pre-roll you can do that mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. what what you got coming next uh what? we about to shoot the video for moha with me and zip mm-hmm. uh, me and Easton got some more songs dropping. Mm-hmm. Um, and we just working. Yeah. Shows, more shows and shit. Yeah, you facts, know what I'm saying? More videos, more music. We mm-hmm. just dropping. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Working. Yeah. yeah. I mean, y'all tap in. Tap in. Mm-hmm. Follow me at Moot Man Shouty on everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, search for my music on all the platforms at FLY Moot. And then go search for all the FLY shit, man. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? At, FLY. Yeah, facts. <laughs> um, watch them 
look for them coming to your uh, favorite stadium near you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Your city. You feel me? And got them. Um, do your research if you ain't know. Got them. Um, and it's time. Yeah. Yeah. If you, if the song is not playing in your head, right now, it's crazy. They like, like yeah, yeah facts. Oh, yeah. For sure. For sure. All right, yeah. man. It's America's Realest Podcast, a live hip hop daily. We out. Yeah.